Good evening! We are Flesh Wound Features, and we are here to cover the brand new, highly anticipated sequel, Bill and Ted Face the Music. Uh, so, this is going to be... It's going to be interesting. It's certainly taken a long time to make this film, and uh, a very long time. Didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, so this is from director Dean Pariso. And uh, all right. So yet to fulfill the rock and roll destiny, the stakes are higher than ever for the now middle-aged Bill and Ted, who set out on a new adventure when a visitor from the future warns them that their song can save the universe as we know it. All right. For the uh, record, 29 years. 29 years. Uh, so Todd, being the uh, the old bastard among us, you probably saw these in theaters. Uh, I honestly didn't see either of them in theaters. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Free subs? Yeah, just, uh, they just didn't. <laughs> well, it's interesting. I, I technically think I saw the second one, but I was... You know, I might have saw the second one, but I know I did not see the first home video. Okay. Wow. Something right. something else better must have came out that Friday. There must have been a horror title that came out the same day as the first one. Todd just stayed home and watched Maniac again. <laughs> uh, Is that not the perfect night? <laughs> I, I did actually have uh, both. Uh, the original posters at one point, but uh, I never really had them up. Uh, who, out of the three of us, who is the biggest Bill and Ted guy? I'm curious because it's probably not me. I it's not me. Uh, it's probably out of the three. Then it's probably me. Okay. All right. Well, then you take it away first, Todd. No, I, well, I would say I wanted to go first. Okay. I kind of since I feel like you two should go first because of all that. right. I'll go first. Uh, so. I was concerned when they – I mean, this has been talked about forever. It seemed like Alex Winter at, like, every convention I'd, I'd seen him at, it, it was always like, it, you know, I think it's coming, I think it's coming. Uh, and it never did. And I started to think, well, I don't know how you would do Bill and Ted as 50-something, mid-50s, I think, at this point. Uh, dudes. It just it was something that always I just couldn't like, see what's weird about out. that. I know what's weird about that though is you get people stay in that as they get older, like whatever they were at that age seems to be who they are when they're old too. Like yeah, there's some people like that. Well no, and they still use the same language. I say dude all the time. And, yeah. And, and like I know crazy. it's funny when Dan tries to say like on fleek or and all that shit, it just doesn't work, so Shut up, Todd. <laughs> I haven't heard him say that. Thankfully. I've chastised him. I've chastised him for using modern lingo. Shut it's up, God damn. <laughs> I will be an awesome fifty-five-year-old or however old Keanu Reeves. I'll still have the hat, and yeah. So it's the thing. This hat never goes out of style. So okay, quit trying to put yourself over, Dan. <laughs> you started it, uh, but anyways. Uh, so. <laughs> A little bit concerned. I mean, could it capture that tone? Uh, I think for the most part, it did. But I'm not gonna lie, it it did it. It didn't blow me away. It really didn't. I love uh, uh, Kristen Shaw and uh, you know Jillian Bell was in here. A lot of talent in front of this, you know, the camera. I thought it was a bit of a waste of Samara Weaving. I thought the other uh, actress kind of outshined her. Oddly enough, she just didn't have a whole lot to do. Um, they both had the exact same thing to do, though. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't I'm, really I, have I'm like. I'm gonna have to agree with Dan though, because she had the fucking sway down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but is that on? Is that giving her more to do, or is that something more that she did? Something more she it, did. There we go. Thank you. It almost felt like a downgrade, considering she's like headlining stuff now. I was just a little. I don't know. Maybe uh, I mean, a big, no, 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 no. Hold on, Dan. There's a difference between headlining. A Fox Searchlight picture and headlining this picture with an actual movie star in there. Yeah, uh, Keanu. I love Samantha Weavering, but ready or Weavering. not, we Samara. What? Whatever. Love that bit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I mean, there's a difference between Ready or Not and Bill and Ted Three. I and I love both. So 
Well, yeah, it just felt like she's getting more high profile that she would have a little more to do. And Dan, I mean, Dan, you, Dan, your version of high profile it isn't the norm. I stick to it, god damn it. Uh, I know, but I'm trying to introduce you to the real world. Not Planet Dan. God damn it. Uh, so, well, anyways, I popped. I mean, it's great seeing William Sadler again. I mean, the, the sense of, of fun is there. It, it's a very, I mean, it's a very late 80s. But here's the thing. I know Dan's never loved the other ones because they're not sex comedies. And that's what he expected all comedies from that era to be. So I'm expecting them to just go around in the phone booth, which, you know. Yes. Totally. You're still mad they did not go to Caligula. (laughs) (laughs) Now I'm mad. (laughs) I probably would have liked it. uh, All right, Bugs, what did you think? (laughs) So I'm actually not the biggest Bill and Ted fan. I like them, but they were never my go to. I can't really say they're stoner comedy, but you know they're kind of they they have like a stoner comedy vibe. I always go with like Deacon Chong or even dude uh, Airheads. It's my shit. So a slacker comedy, basically. There you go. That works. But I was expecting it to be way worse than what we got. This movie's actually a whole lot of fun. Like this this one's almost as good as two, in my opinion, uh, which is my favorite of them. With, Me too. Uh, um. um Samara Weaving and and Young the uh, Teddy whatever her girls the other kid she got that sway down at, like to a T that was not, that was cool as shit uh, I love the new robot I don't know if giving away his name <laughs> is a spoiler yeah. so I won't but he was cool as shit uh, yeah it was just fun I like seeing them go meet themselves and have this adventure it was cool. Yeah, I'm with you. I there. Here's the thing. While I I loved it, it is absolutely a requel. It's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna it's gonna age like Jay and Silent Bob reboot, because I loved that when it first came out, but it's not perfect. I haven't seen it again, but I I, I know I like that one more than this one. Well, well I'll tell you this: it. when you watch it again, yeah, I, I I agree with that. But I mean, it's let's hit some big spots from the original let's make you pop with okay this one we had the george carlin cgi or you know Which was hologram nice. uh, that might be a spoilerish, but um we hit you know we hit big spots from um both films i mean well hell's in the commercial so fucking it, that's out there i mean it definitely does do a lot of the same things again putting a band together again there's a lot of requel stuff well or and I'm fine with that, but I'm just wondering how well it's going to age. Um, there was a couple things, like they explain, like if you know Bogus Journey well enough, you know the movie ends with their sons, Bill and Ted Jr., which is explained in this. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm not saying more for a spoiler. I do have one spoiler thing for later, though. Um, but overall, um, if you like the first two, it, it's right in line. And... Um, Go ahead, Dan. You're chomping at the bits. Oh, no. Go ahead. Oh, as the tag? All right. I, I've, got, I've got to disagree with some of this because, I mean, the more I've really digested this movie, yeah, there's maybe it'll work for a nostalgia fix, but it's really not great. It's really not great at, at all. Um, it could have been way worse, dude. That's what I was, it, I was just Oh, just sure. Shit. Oh, yeah. This could have been a, a complete heard it's not it's not that bad i just i don't think that this this works anymore it just doesn't and maybe it is the fact that they're older dudes i know you know it is a nostalgia piece that's the whole thing of this right but you have to at least have some good quality laughs in there which i don't think this one had uh the robot was amusing i I mean funny as shit yeah here's the thing i knew going into this dan was he was going to be the turn in the punch bowl because this really isn't his thing. So I like the first two movies. I'm not a fanboy for Bill and Ted. I'm not I, either, but I, Dan, I know you well enough to know you were going to be the turn in the punch. Would bowl, you grant me this? If I you, gave you the issues, no, no, with no, it no, already. No. Would you grant me this? Wait, if you, you are not already a fan of Bill and Ted, would you get anything out of this movie? Because I don't think so. I see. I think mm-hmm. you will because it is like I've said the word too many times. It is 
you don't have to have seen the first two to enjoy it. I I don't know. I have to disagree. Whereas with you. if you have not seen any of the viewers universe, Jay and Silent Bob is pointless to watch. Reboot. Oh yeah, no, I, I agree. So I think this one stands enough on its own, which is an accomplishment for something that has, you know, two I think films. I think people just going into it, it's like uh why is John Wick being Forrest Gump? And uh well, yeah. You know? People who've seen the trailer are going to kind of know what they're going. Into. I don't think anyone's yeah. going to walk into this blind, Dan. One thing I, 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 and I don't think they'll do it quite frankly, but, uh, and I'm glad they didn't do too much in this was like, just make the, the daughters like the headliners, which I, I was thought like, that's I, what they were going with. I did too, yeah. but they, but without giving too much away, save for spoilers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, um, I thought the screen time would be a little different. different. Uh, so I'm glad they didn't do that. Uh, see, I t- see. I totally disagree with Dan, but things I can't list because we're not talking spoilers. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into spoilers. Um, William Sadler's great. I think you could have done oh, a little more with him yeah. too, to be honest. You but know. you know what? If you go back and rewatch, which I did before this, they don't use him a lot in Bogus Journey either. He's he's barely in that movie. He's just a very memorable character. That's the thing. Yeah, no, he is, but um, it's not well, a disaster. But I don't think it's very good. Well, I'll go first, since I'm yeah, I'm going to. Whereas, see, I think the other two are probably fours. I, I'm not; they're not masterpieces, but I have a hell of fun time with them. I'm putting this one on, on par. It might be a little under, but I'm keeping it at four. I know. Pugs. Uh, I am a three. It is very enjoyable. Um, it's not a masterpiece, but like if you're into this stuff, this will tickle your fancy. I think so. I'm a two. It might make you smile, some of you, but it, it's really not very good, and I don't think it's going to stand up well on second viewings, even for the fans. I'll tell you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a, a day later. I mean, you know. Digest. That's not true. I notice things the more times I watch them. Yeah. So, but yeah, sorry guys, I'm a two. Not to kill your childhoods, but I'm a two. <laughs> All right, spoiler talk time. So if you do not wish for this to be ruined, now would be the time to bow out and pick up uh, where you left off once you see the movie. Uh, and before you do that, remember to like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. We appreciate it very. Very Why fun. do you start doing this once I already have the spoiler tag up? I just did a quick thing, Todd. All right, spoilers now. Uh, letting him, you know, some people are slow. But yeah, I, I, I have the spoil. You literally said, "Okay, we're going to do spoilers now," and then you do the fucking send off. You do the fucking send off, then you do the spoilers. How hard is that? <laughs> My bad. All right, spoiler. Well, time. I feel like a dumbass when I throw up the spoiler warning when you're still talking about other shit. You're not being excellent to me. <laughs> all right. So, so all right. Uh, well, what spoiler thoughts did you guys have? I fucking love the robot. Was it Danny? Oh, fucking, I can't remember Dennis. his last name. Dennis. Dennis. Mc, yeah. Mix some shit. I love that actor. I think he's going to. Dennis. I, Dennis Caleb, Caleb McCoy. Caleb. Caleb. I can never say that. I know the word. C-A-L-E-B. Caleb. Caleb, god damn it. Dennis Caleb McCoy. That guy fucking rules. <laughs> I, I want just a solo movie of him. Um, yeah. Uh, and then the stinger at the end was pretty cool. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go straight to the end because they fixed a loophole. Or they fixed something that's always bothered me. The music, when they go to the future in Bill and Ted, sounds nothing like the music they play at the end of Bill and Ted bogus journey so the fact that the daughters are the ones who did the music and there's no lyrics sound exactly like the kind of music that we hear in the first one so they kind of fix that word they never explicitly say it but the last one um the god made rock and roll song ends it which doesn't really make sense if you think of it going back to the first one so that like i said phil that tightened that up and the Bill and Ted Jr. thing. So they explained very quickly that that was a nickname. 
Because when they come back in Bogus Journey at the end, they both have babies. Bill Jr., Ted Jr. So they didn't fuck up continuity, which I was worried about. Now, <laughs> two things. One, we all knew they weren't going to be dropping the F-bomb. We'll just say that. Which I would have popped if they did. But this movie needed to be in theaters, and I'll tell you exactly why. They did one gag that does not work unless you see it in a theater. Because it's just like Friday the 13th, when you see the MasterCard floating in the water, they knew. When he says the phone number, and he says 69, someone in the audience was going to yell 69. I Because they don't say it in the movie other than when they read the number. And they kind of give, and they do. And it's the same logic as someone in that theater is going to yell it out. So I noticed that, I and I was like, that's what they were going for, and now they're not going to get it. So, I, I even said that loud when I was watching it. So did I. <laughs> and that was the point, and that was the joke on that. And I was like, fuck, that sucks. <laughs> so, and then, like, fucking, them visiting, I don't know, Dance, they, I was fucking dying. When they're visiting their their future selves every time it escalated. Their prisoner, guys. <laughs> yes. Like another fucking... spinoff I want. Bill and Ted go to jail. <laughs> Something worse could happen to that robot if it was an R-rated movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know where Dan is on it, but yeah, there was a lot to like. I might have at best it made me smile a couple times, but it just and I mean it was cool. And this back. is this is my argument with Dan all the time. He's like, Well, horror movies have to be seen at theater, action movies have to. Oh, but not that stupid Rebel Wilson comedy or whatever he uses as shit talk. <laughs> Comedies are also communal. When a group of people are together and laughing, it increases your enjoyment. So you you okay. using it to, to dismiss other genres as being a film snob annoys me, and this is the reason why. <laughs> it's ranting on Dandy. Uh, <laughs> so, I told uh, yeah, you I'm going to be nice to you today. <laughs> I wanted to like it more. I actually thought it was pretty funny at the beginning with the uh, step bomb and all that. That I thought <laughs> was pretty funny bringing yeah. her back. Um, but it just never, I don't know. I feel like you could have done more when you were visiting the historical figures. It's, it's, I'm probably due to revisit, uh, the, the other two again. Cause I don't know, maybe I'll watch those and just think, uh, oh, they don't hold up like Todd. Uh, that's what I'm know. saying. They're all on par. So if you don't like, I, I think you're gonna have an issue. I do want to say maybe, pro- but I don't know. I do want to say props for, actually bringing the same actress back for Missy. I was kind of yeah. sure if they were, although they did have to upgrade the wives. <laughs> <laughs> That's messed up, but true. Well, I mean, uh, what's her name? I mean, I know it's such a fucking Hollywood sexist thing, but I mean, what's her name? Uh, Diane Franklin? She, it, it wouldn't have... It, we it can't have Keanu Reeves with an age-appropriate woman. What exactly. are you talking about? Um, men age like wine. Women age like milk. Just saying. Mm-hmm. I'm just, just throwing it out oh, there. Oh, oh, send your letters to Bugs. You, you know what's funny? If, if, if Kruger and family are listening to it, you're going to be the shit on this one. <laughs> yes. I'm not the asshole anymore, Pugs. Don't get brave, Dan. I'll but think for one episode. But, but let's be real. This is probably the one they skip. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll never know. I, if you know, let us know. <laughs> I would have said bring back the same women. I would have been okay with it, but they had such a bigger role. I I'm kind of okay that they didn't. You know what's really bizarre, too, and I just had this thought. I mean, obviously, we're not seeing Alex Winter in, you know, a hundred movies since Bill and Ted. Like, well, he's been directing. Keanu. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's done stuff. But um, so does Smith Keanu though, looks older in this than John Wick, where he doesn't oh, you know what it old is? at all. He just I'll looks, tell you, you can exactly see it. what it is. Exactly what it is. It's the hair. Old people with long hair do not look right. He has long hair in um, John Wick. I just think they did it on purpose. They aged him up a little bit. Yeah, his hair, it's the way it is, though. That it could be. I just, I was like, you know what? He's, I mean, I, I'm great, great shape, but he's looking his age in this. While with John Wick, and maybe that's just the, you know, snapping people's necks and killing them with pins and all this shit. And it's a different kind of long hair because he just has his hair slicked straight back and it's not as long. 
I think yeah. that's probably his actual hair where this is a wig. Yeah. I would like to have get, have him like throw Alex Winters with like a roll if he wants to in the like the last John Wick movie. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I don't know if you just have him like kill him or if he's like just a like a friendly assassin I type. I, I wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say. Same thing. Like, why can't Norman Reedus get Sean Patrick Flannery on Walking Dead? Flannery's better than him anyways. But uh, I wanted to like this more. I just, I don't even think I'm going to get it. I might like it less on the second viewing, to be honest. I don't think this is a second watch. I mean, two's generous, and I just, yeah. They could have done something. I mean, I don't know. Jimi Hendrix, that was cool, but... Even like the musicians, I feel like they could have come up with something funnier. I don't know. Yeah, fucking Beethoven, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I know. know. Okay. Dan asked the fantasy book everything. I All got right. it. I oh, got it. Last plot. See, what did I just fucking say? He has the fantasy book everything. Wrap it up so we can get the fuck out of here. Since they had a hell theme. They should have had crossover and had John Lovitz uh, in the tree somewhere, like <laughs> show up in the Bill and Ted universe. Little Nicky crossover. All right, I just he's he's done. I muted him. He's not allowed anymore. <laughs> that's it. All right, well that's it for tonight's show because Dan got muted. I'm the um, same. Wishy Peace out. Give me All that good shit. Hitler hands. <laughs> All right, I'll shine. <laughs>